वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स एट्थ क्लास मैथ न्यू बुक चैप्टर नंबर थ्री अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वार्टिलेटर्स एक्सरसाइज नंबर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री नेक्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू डू इन दिस वीडियो सो वॉच एंड लिसन टू द वीडियो वेरी केयरफुली नोट डाउन दी सोल्यूशन बट लेटर ऑन डू प्रैक्टिस डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन यूर सेल्फ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज कैन अ क्वाड्रीलेटरल ए बी सी डी बी आ पैलोग्राम इफ फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज डी प्लस बी एंगल डी प्लस एंगल बी इज टू वन एटी डिग्री देन ए बी इज गुड डी सी इज गुड टू सो एंड सो ए डी इज गुड टू सो एंड सो बी सी इज गुड टू सो एंड सो एंगल ए इज गुड टू सेवेंटी एंड एंगल सी इज गुड टू सिक्सटी फाइव सो वी कैन ड्रॉ अ रफ स्केच ऑफ अ पैरलोग्राम सो फॉर रेफरेंस ए बी सी डी वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट when we write when we give the name of the quadrilateral of the parallelogram we must follow the clockwise or the anti clockwise direction in a row so a b c d in continuity you we, we cannot write like this a b c d no that is wrong so if you take clockwise anti clockwise direction you keep going in the anti clockwise direction while naming the vertices if you go in the clockwise direction you keep going in the clockwise direction till you come to the initial position so this is very important otherwise if you name the parallelogram wrongly then you are likely to make mistakes so now let us do all these three parts in detail one by one so first condition is angle d plus angle b is equal to 180 degree is it possible to have a parallelogram Uh, which will satisfy this condition so the answer is yes a quadrilateral can be a parallelogram but it is not necessary so dear students i will show you both the cases where it is possible and where it is not possible so condition is that if it is a parallelogram it will be a rectangle or a square otherwise that quadrilateral will not be a parallelogram you see now a b c d d and b they are opposite angles d and b are opposite angles and if opposite angles are equal only then it will be a parallelogram but opposite angles d and b they add up to 180 degrees if they are equal it means each angle has to be a has to be 90 degrees so it means it can be a square or it can be a rectangle because only in a square or in a rectangle each angle is 90 degrees if the angle is not 90 degree then it will not be a square it will not be a parallelogram so now you see here a unique case here is a it's a quadrilateral a b c d angle d is 90 degree angle b is 90 degree but angle c is more than 90 degree angle a is less than 90 degree so angle a and c are not equal it means and moreover you can see very clearly cd is not parallel to ab nor is ad parallel to bc so it is not a parallelogram but angle d plus angle b 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees so dear students this condition is very interesting understand it very carefully you have to write like this that yes a quadrilateral can be a parallelogram but then that parallelogram will only be a square or a rectangle okay and uh, this is one case where you can show you can practice this diagram where the uh, two angles d and b add up to 180 degree but the quadrilateral is not a parallelogram so these two cases they show that it is possible to have a parallelogram with this condition but it is this third condition show third example shows that it is not necessary okay so dear students this condition is very interesting do practice it i mean two three times to understand the uh, difference between the two and understand the uh, this special condition okay so let's go to part number 2 now now part number 2 is very simple ab is equal to dc ab is equal to dc is equal to 8 cm 
then AD is equal to 4 centimeter and BC is equal to 4.4 centimeter. So the answer is no. A quadrilateral ABCD cannot be a parallelogram in the above condition, this condition. Why? In a parallelogram, both the pairs of opposite sides are equal. Both the pairs. This and this one pair, this and this second pair. But AD and BC are unequal. BC is 4.4 and AD is 4. AB and DC are AB and DC are equal. A, B and DC are equal, but AD and BC. AD and BC are unequal. So it is not possible to have a parallelogram with this condition. Part number three, angle A is equal to 70 degrees and angle C is equal to 65 degrees. This angle A is 70 degrees, this angle C is 65 degrees. So answer is no, a quadrilateral ABCD cannot be a parallelogram in the above condition. Why? Because in a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. D has to be equal to B, A has to be equal to C, but A and C are unequal. A is 70 degrees, C is 65 degrees. Okay, next question. Question number four, draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram, but has exactly two opposite angles of equal measure. Very interesting question. So. Dear students, one example is kite. You can draw one line here and one line here perpendicular to each. But this BD should be being bisected. I mean, from here to here should be equal to from here to here. Okay. And this, uh, this diagonal need not be bisected, but diagonal BD has to be bisected. So you can draw a kite and in kite what happens? Angle A is not angle is not equal to angle C, but angle B is equal to angle D. So only one pair, they say only exactly two opposite angles. So B and exactly B and D, exactly two opposite angles of equal measure. So B and D are equal, but A and C are not equal and it is a quadrilateral in which only one pair of angles is equal. Another is same example from question number three in which you can show a quadrilateral like this, in which two angles, A and C are equal to 90 degree, but B is not equal to D. So this is the same example which we used in question number three, in which they, they told us, they asked us whether is it possible to have a quadrilateral with A and D, A and C, uh, sorry, these opposite angles equal to 90, uh, opposite equal to 180 degrees. So in that case, if it has to be a parallelogram, both angles have to be equal. But here you can see that these two angles add up to 80, 180 degree, but it is not a parallelogram. But it is a quadrilateral in which angle A is equal to angle C. And here angle B is equal to angle D. A is not equal to C and here B is not equal to D. So these two quadrilaterals you can draw to satisfy this I mean, condition in which we say that quadrilateral, not a parallelogram, but exactly one pair of opposite angles equal. Question number fifth now. Question number fifth, the measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio three is to two. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. So let A and B, you can take any one pair. Each parallelogram has got four pairs of adjacent angles. A and D, one pair of adjacent angles, D and C, second pair of adjacent angles, C and B, third pair of adjacent angles, B and A, fourth pair of adjacent angles. So I have chosen A and B, A and B. You can take A and D, C and D, or B and C, any pair you can choose. So let A and B be the two adjacent angles that are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now let A is equal to 3x. So whenever we have questions like this of ratios, so what you can do is these two figures you multiply with a variable A, B, C, X, Y, Z. So let angle A is equal to angle 3x and angle B is equal to 2x. Now we must use this principle or concept in order to solve this question which we have to write 
we know that the sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 180 degrees. Therefore, angle A plus angle B because they are two adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. Now, angle A is equal to 3x, angle B is equal to 2x or 3 plus 2, 5, 5x is equal to 180 degrees or x is equal to 180 upon 5 is equal to 36 degrees or x is equal to 180 upon 5 is equal to 36 degrees. So angle A is equal to 3x is equal to 3 into 36 degrees is equal to 108 degrees and angle B is equal to 2x is equal to 2 into 36 degrees is equal to 72 degrees. So we have found out two angles A and B. Now let's find out C and D. We know that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. This is the second property we have to mention in order to find the other two angles. So we know that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So angle C is equal to angle A and angle A is 108 degree is equal to 108 degree. Angle D is equal to angle B and B is 72 degrees. So D is equal to 72 degrees. So when ratio of two adjacent angles is given, we can find out all the four angles of a given parallelogram. So dear students, this were the, these were the uh, three questions, fourth, fifth and sixth, uh, third, three, third, fourth and fifth of this exercise. So keep doing your studies in a regular and disciplined manner and goodbye till the next video. Thank you very much.